Those are two questions, but they're closely related. So the first one is how do we choose the right partner for marriage and how do we face the fear of commitment and how to understand men? That's the first one. The second one is many of us find it hard to find a suitable spouse. So how do you suggest we deal with the frustration of waiting so long to finally meet them? Or how do we best deal with the reality that we may never be married and have children without falling into despair and loneliness? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's a really good question. And um, in looking for a spouse, uh, of course, you have many things that you naturally look for. There are particular types of people that you're attracted to and others that you're not. And naturally, you like certain things and you don't like other things. And that's your right to do that. But the most important thing in a spouse is, and in you too, <coughs> is that you have good character. That's the most important thing. And good character means, of course, that you are honest, you are humble, you are trustworthy, you are courageous, you are generous, you are modest, you know, all good character. But good character <clears throat> always is based on two things. All good character, it comes out of two qualities. The first of those is tawadu is humility, <coughs> humility, <coughs> that you don't put yourself up, you put yourself down. When you have tawadah and you put yourself down, all good begins to happen, even haqaiq tatajalla. And when you put yourself on, al-haqaiq, yani mahjuba. when you put yourself up, you know, all the realities, they will be hidden from you. They will be veiled. So you want to be humble. And you want your spouse to be humble. And then, ethar. That you prefer all other people over yourself. All other people. You don't see that you're better than anyone. And you are happy to pay back your debts because other people have a right to their money, right? You know that some people, to pay back a debt is harder than having open heart surgery, right? They, they don't want to do it. They don't want to pay their bills. But if you have ethan, no, I want to because that's your right. You gave me this money, I want to give it back to you. Um, I want to pay the bills. I use this stuff. I have to pay for it. That's all the spirit of ethan of preferring others over yourself. So when you have those two things, tawadar and ithar, humility, and preferring others over yourself, then all other good character will be there. It will have a place to grow. And without them, it will not. Okay, and uh, iman, and kufr, they are the twins of good character and bad character. The, good char the twin of good character is iman. Why? Because when you believe, don't you have to well draw? Right? When you stand in prayer and you bow and you pray and you do rukur and sujood, isn't that to well draw? It's teaching you to well draw. And it breeds tawadu in you, and you want to have that tawadu. You want to have that modesty. And isn't iman, ithar, that, you know, you prefer God over everything, and you recognize his right upon you? As ithar is also recognizing the rights of others. So you recognize the rights of others. And this is why when you look at the Sahaba, who are the best of all people ever created who were not prophets, they were very generous. They prefer others over themselves, even in dire need, 
even when they're starving, I will give you the food. You know, and even as you know in the Battle of Uhud, when this person went around giving water to the wounded, and each one would say, no, you give it to my brother first. You give it to my, and then he comes back and that one's dead now, that one's dead now. So they, they you know, you give it to him first. He needs it more than I. And those are not made up stories. That, that's a reflection of people who have extremely good character. When you, when you have good character, then Iman is natural to you. And the twin of Kufr is bad character. Arrogance, pride, and preferring yourself over everyone. Narcissism. Okay, and what is kufr? Kufr is that yet a kabbar. You know, the person is proud. He's too proud to worship God. You know, I, I know people who the idea of prostrating themselves on the earth is unthinkable. They wouldn't bow <clears throat> to anyone. And then to put my head on the ground? But you don't think I have pride? You don't think I have honor? No, I mean, you should be modest. You should be humble. You should be able to do this. He's your creator, for God's sake. You know, and then you prefer God's rights over yourself, don't you? So you're able to fast. And you're able to, to live a life that's halal. And you're able to avoid the haram. And when in the Qur'an, Allah tells us about the kufr of uh, Abi Jahl or Abi Lahab or he tells us about the kufr of the Jews of Medina. He always tells us about their character, doesn't he? That they lie, they cheat, they break their trusts, they oppress orphans, they oppress widows. You know, he's masha'an binamim. You know, he walks around spreading calumnies and slanders okay and why because that character explains to you why they can't do this why they can't be honest with you and they can't recognize the truth and they can't be honest with God so and you want good character and um, I, I that's what I feel and you know me other people can have other ideas but to me because marriage is about character and, you know, 